What's up guys? Working on the 96 ZJ again, Grand Cherokee for you non-Jeep people. And I had an exhaust problem. Here is the exhaust. I mean, we cobbled this together many times, sure. but <laughs> the O2 sensor popped out. That's my uh, recent problem. So I didn't record any of this. Basically, we just cut it off and then cut it off and we left. I have a side dump, so that's still on there. And I got a new cat, which is under there. We'll get all that out later. So basically right now we're just kind of fabric cobbling everything together. It's all gonna be two and a half inch now, which I mean, I can just tell people I have two and a half inch exhaust, so I'm cool. It's not really gonna to do too much, but Wayne's gonna start cutting this. So I'm just going to show you everything outside on the workbench here because we're actually going to build it off the vehicle and then put it on. So here's the new O2 sensor. This is a fancy eBay cat. This, your head pipe's going to come in up here and then this is just a short section to get it through the trans cross member in between that and the body. And then we're going to have to connect it to our tailpipe. against the material, so I'm just going to... Yeah, you want to make sure, like he said, you want to make sure that you don't, you you know, you stay on the outside edge of where it starts to get the flare. For measurement purposes. So this is what we got. Here's where it's going to come in from the and factory then, down pipe. Make sure, make sure that's in the rear. Yeah, the, that. the O2 has to be in the rear. We're going to weld, Wayne's going to weld this. So then, we want to get it all welded up so it just makes it easier to uh, know where everything else is going. Alright guys, so we got it all welded up. Uh, this is going to go to the downpipe. We're going to clamp that just because it's it's easy easier to do that. You can't really get in there. So our new cat's welded in. And then here we're doing a muffler delete. As you can see, the old one had a cherry bomb. So this one's not going to have a muffler in it. And then right here is where we attach to uh, the, down, or the tailpipe that we replaced a few years ago. So it's now all two and a half inch from uh, actually the header we put on is two and a half inch outlet as well, but it looks like it necks down like right right in the middle like right right where the tranny is looks like it necks down at two and a quarter um, that actually goes into the into the bottom of the header that I put on but either way here it is and uh, 
course, once we get it on, I'll show you guys underneath and we'll fire up, see what it sounds like. All right, guys, so here's the first fire up. We'll do a cold start and uh, we'll let you hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, let me see if I can record under here. Uh, so basically here's the factory head pipe uh, and then that's where we connected it and we put the uh, clamp on. That's the only clamp in the whole system. Then you can see we welded the cat there and then it comes down and comes over and out and then right up here you can see that's we had that in there before. That's just one of those like 360 swivel um, clamp things. And uh, so there it is. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. You can see her back there with the LEDs on. Uh, just a little simple upgrade. It sounds awesome. It's, I didn't think it would sound much different because it did have Cherry Bomb on it before. But man, it sounds nasty now. I know some of you guys commented on you liked the way it sounded when I put the header on. But it's nasty now. So thanks for watching guys. I hope it helped you. I hope it inspired you. And we'll see you on the next video. And if you own a Jeep, thanks for being part of Jeep Nation.